Welcome to this RapidRap tutorial. Within the next 9 minutes we will see a variety of functions that RapidRap offers to access SOAP-based or REST-based web services. We are now in the RapidRap Designer, the integrated development environment of RapidRap. And I've created a new report definition called Tutorial Web Service. The GUI of the Designer is quite comprehensive and offers a variety of different functions. Web services are integrated into this. Web services are in the environment web services tab and we start by declaring a web service. Here we see a list that I have already prepared. This list of web services can be managed and we can see the properties, change the properties, for example the authentication method and the character encoding and if you are behind a firewall, you can change the proxy settings. And now we provide a logical name that we want to use when we talk to this web service. Here we are, and now we go to the Functions tab, and in the context menu, we generate all the functions um, that are offered by a specific web service that has a VSDL or a VADL. Here we have only the one that we have just declared. Here we see four different functions, but we are only interested in the very first one. If we select the created function, we find the declaration, the definition of this web service, the two arguments that it expects, the two currency codes. These two variables are part of this body template. Here is the second one. In the line below, we can provide constant values that we can use to evaluate this function. US dollar and Japanese yen, for example. We now go to the post processing tab and we press the plus button next to it. And using the two evaluation parameters that we have just entered, RapidRap shows the XML response in the preview window. In the upper area, we see the different methods that RapidRap offers us to process the XML result, for example, XQuery, XPath, XSLT, or using a file structure. We want to use the XPath method and see already the result. If you open the editor window, we see how changes to the XPath expression window impacts the preview. Using the XML document on the right hand side, the XPath expression is applied and provides us the output result in the preview window. This editor and the preview is also available for XSLT and for XQuery. The designer offers a lot of tools that assist you in managing the JSON and XML results. Now we want to use the function that we have just created and therefore we go to the scripts tab and we create a new script. We call it for example my converter. In the calculation tab we, we have a proposal list, we select our web service function and we replace the parameters by using two constant values. I want to show you a more elegant way when dealing with test case data. I have prepared an Excel list that contains a couple of test case data and using the concept of models we can upload this workbook into our repository. We select the workbook and we press a couple of buttons and now the data is in our repository and we can use it in our script. RapidRap has a very feature-rich scripting environment and I've prepared a couple of lines which first selects the test case data from the repository, this is this line, and in a for each loop we 
we call the web service with the parameters from our list and I also add a new function here using the today function and now if we execute this script we see the exchange rates for our test case data. Next I would like to include a REST based web service which is very similar to what we have already seen. We go to the environment tab and we declare a web service, a web service that is provided by the European Central Bank and we now go to the functions tab again and now we create it manually because this web service does not have a VADL document. We select the new web service here and we provide the resource path. In the processing tab we do not need any arguments in this case and we see all the exchange rates provided by the ECB. We now choose the last item here, file structure. We create a new file structure using a wizard. We provide a name and an optional description to it. And in the second step we can leave the namespace settings as they are. This is the XML structure, but we are only interested in one of the elements which provides us already the rates. Now we want to add the date information that comes from an outer element called time. We click and see in the preview also the date added. When we finish this wizard we see this table like preview below and we close the dialog. Again we create a script and call it my FX rate. And now in the body part we provide a standard SQL statement where we select from the web service as if it was a table. We can of course add a WHERE clause, ORDER BY, GROUP BY as you are used to when you select from another table. Up to now we have seen many interesting functions when talking to web services and now we want to see how we can use RapidRap to decide whether a test case is passed or failed. To demonstrate this we open another report definition called sample web service test and here we have two different web services. One of them is REST based and the other one is SOAP based and both of them should retrieve timesheet records and the use of this report definition is to decide whether the REST and the SOAP result is the same and here we see that we can access the results and we can join the results together to find out whether they produce the same results. This check produces an Excel workbook that contains a description of the test case, the rapid rep details and the parameters that have been used to produce the results. We see that the result is passed, we do not see any error message and in the other worksheets we find additional information that is especially useful for business analysts in case an error has occurred. If you are using RapidRap together with a test or defect management system, these workbooks are attached to a test run or to a defect. Okay, that's it. Uh, thanks for listening. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and I wish you a lot of fun when working with RapidRap.